Hi everyone, welcome back. We are just making the place cozy. I left off the last video um, this morning, so it was Friday morning, so it's now Friday night. And we're just about to get an Indian takeaway, which I'm so excited for. Obviously, we got it the first night. Our mom went and collected it and like just dropped it at our door. And then obviously me, Ken and David just had it and then our parents got it as well and they ate it here. So we both got Indian, but we obviously didn't have it together. So tonight's the first night that we're all having it together as a family and David's here as well and Joey, of course. So it's gonna be really nice now and we're gonna just make the place cozy, put on the fire. It's very bright in this room. <laughs> I look completely washed out. I'm just in the same outfit you saw in the last video because obviously it's the same day. And actually some people were asking, um, on my Instagram when I put this up today about this jumper sweater if you're American and I love it so much. Remember I got it in on Firefetch, it was in one of my haul videos and stay tuned in this video. Probably I'll film it tomorrow morning but I ordered a few new bits from Firefetch and they just got here today. So I'm gonna do a little try on um, and show you everything. Really, really nice bits this time. I'm just hoping everything fits now. And I have a new discount code. So if you're looking to get something before Christmas, um, this is just in time, or if you wanna get a gift for someone or just for yourself or whatever, stay tuned because I have a code, which is really exciting. So that's coming up, but now we're gonna have Indian. Um, someone was asking us why we love the Indian takeaway so much and it's actually become such a tra like a tradition. I don't really know how it started in Vlogmas, but it just every time we come home, it's always our first meal. It's just one of these traditions we have and we actually don't have like an awful lot of traditions <laughs> as a family, but this is one and we've just always loved Indian food. Like all growing up when we were young, like our parents would bring us out for Indian. When we go on holidays, it's like the, one of the, we'd always look for an Indian restaurant so we could go to. And as a family, we just love it. So yeah, we love the, the takeaway that we get it from in Clarny. It's called Bombay Palace, just in case you're new around here. Any old followers will know that, but it's just delicious. I, I'm not sure if it's just because the one we're used to so much that we love it, but yeah, we always compare other ones we go to. To this one because we love it so much so i think they'll probably get cozy but i'll have more fashion -y stuff to show you tomorrow <laughs> Makes the snow come alive with the light Like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor And I'm thinking of you And how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try So won't you come up with me tonight on a Christmas stroll through a wintry town It's a lovely sight when the city's in this gown So come on and take a Christmas stroll A little later, I just put on the fire and I'm just going to set off my camera on a little tripod here and I'm going to talk you through some new Firefetch purchases I got. And as promised, I'm gonna share a new discount code with you. I'm just gonna let the room warm up a little bit first and then I'll sit down and show you. Okay, I think that's okay. I can't find the tripod, so I've just put them on top of the two Firefetch boxes. <laughs> so hopefully that's okay and the light's okay. So I have about six things. Yeah, six things to show you all together. So they're all from Firefetch. If you've been watching my videos all year, all last year, Firefetch is a site that I just adore. It's the main site I get any designer or kind of more like investment pieces from. It just has the best selection, the best like range of sizes. Like it really just has everything. So then every now and again here on YouTube, I show you some gems that I found and this order, wow, everything turned out really nice. Well, I haven't tried them on. I'm going to try them on like in the cutaway so i'll talk you through it and i'll try it on but i just have a feeling like by the look of everything like maybe one jacket i think might be one size too big but if it is i'll just return it for the smaller size but yeah i'll try everything on these are so good 
So if you're maybe looking to treat yourself at the end of the year, or maybe you're still on the search for some gift ideas, or you wanna like treat someone special in your life, this might give you some ideas. And as always, they have given me a discount code so throughout the year they give me a discount code but it usually only lasts for maybe like a month or three weeks so now i have a new one for you that will work all this month so i'll write it on the screen here and i'll write all the terms and conditions and everything down below the date it's available to you and it's just the perfect time to have a discount code especially for these bits and before i show you the new stuff some of you have been asking how I'm getting on with the Valentino boots and oh my god guys. So in the last video um, that I did about Firefetch stuff, this was, these were one of the things that I got and I remember saying like they weren't my usual style, I wasn't sure if I was going to get enough wear out of them. Oh my god, I have worn these so many times already and I've only had them about a month. They are so comfortable. They are just so easy to wear. They go with so much stuff. And some of you are asking, were they comfortable? Yes. Like, do I think that they're worth it? 100%. And my code, my new code now will work on these as well. So in case any of you were thinking about getting them before Christmas, now is a good time. And then earlier in the video, I was wearing my Anina Bing sweatshirt. And this will also be included in the code. Um, so you can use it on that as well if you're on the search. And I will say about this, so I got the medium and I'm kind of slightly kicking myself that I didn't get a smaller size because it runs quite big. I just thought getting a medium, it's not bad. Like I still love it and I wear it all the time, but I thought by getting a medium, it'd be kind of like oversized. I like these crew necks a bit more oversized, but I think I went a tiny bit too oversized. So now I just wear it with like really skinny jeans to kind of balance it out. And I wear it inside blazers and coats and stuff. But I just keep in mind that it does run a tiny bit big, I think. Um, so maybe just like stick to your usual size and I think it will still be oversized if you're going for that vibe. So that's that one. And now let me show you the new bits. All right, so I'll kick it off with one of the wow, wow pieces that I ordered. Okay, so I didn't actually bring home an awful lot of coats because I wanted to try and maybe get one or two new ones. I brought home my DVF faux fur and I brought home, that was it, my DVF faux fur and I just brought home some puffer jackets for walking. So I wanted to get one new coat to have for christmas like i don't know about you but i always kind of get a new christmas coat <laughs> every year just to have something new and like cozy to wear this time of the year so i found this brand on firefetch it's my first time getting anything from them it's called lesson and moi it's a french brand obviously um i had seen them on firefetch a few times but i never actually ordered anything from them but they do the nicest selection of faux fur coats and like feeling the quality and everything, like I really do think that they're good value for the price. Like I've seen lots of coats on Perfect for like triple, four times, five times the price for faux fur. Um, but this one, like I can't even describe to you how soft it is. I had Kaylin feel it and she was like, oh my God, that is the softest faux fur coat she said she ever felt. So I'll try it on for you and show you. And this is the one that I think could possibly be one size too big. I got the small in this, but I think I actually could have done with the extra small because it's quite like big. Like there's a lot of it, if that makes sense. And I'm quite petite, so I think it like maybe a tiny bit too big, but I'll try it on anyway and I'll show you. And then if I have to get the extra small, I'll just quickly return it. But yeah, let's see this on now. Okay, this is the coat on and Joey making a special appearance. So this is it, oh wow, softest faux fur. I know I've said this when I was talking through it, but it really, really is. The fit is lovely. So this is the one I'm thinking about sizing down one. I could probably get away with this size, but I don't know, I just think there's a lot of the cold. So I think a slight, let me put on the bag and show you. See, there is a bit of room here, even when it's closed. So I think if it was like a tiny bit more in, I think it'd be nicer and let me open it now and show you how it looks open so then this is what it looks like open 
so fab it's like wearing a blanket like one of those really cozy furry blankets it's so warm um i want to get more from this brand 100 percent. i think there are only like a few sizes left in some of their coats but i think with this one it was available in almost every size but there's another one i saw i think it's kind of like a green and dark blue I definitely want to get that in the future as well, but for now, love this one. And in keeping on coats, so I, if you watch my last Fire Fridge video, you'll see that I got a black Ghani belted coat, which I absolutely adore. I had the cream one for a few years, I loved it, I saw that the black was available, so I decided to get that too, because it's just one of those coats that's like timeless, I'll have it forever. But the Ghani one is quite kind of oversized, it's very long, it's belted. It's just one of those coats that's kind of like an outfit in itself. I'll pop in a picture. Still available as well actually and my discount code works on that too. But I needed a kind of a plain black, just straight coat. I have one from Marks and Spencer's that I've had for a few years, which I love. So I wanted to just kind of upgrade that basically. I, I still have that one in New York and I definitely will still wear it. But I figured I'd buy one for here that I'll have now for Christmas to wear as well. So I found this plain black, three buttons, straight coat from Calvin Klein. And this straight off the bat feels lovely. It has like a small little CK logo on the collar here. But other than that, it's like completely plain. Like you wouldn't know it was like a designer Calvin Klein coat, which I kind of like when it comes to coats. I like my coats to be really plain, really simple, and ones I can wear with so many different outfits. And I just find with a plain black coat, you can just style it up with everything. And my Ghani one I love, but it kind of covers everything else I'm wearing. Whereas this one, you'll still be able to see my outfit inside it, but I'll obviously still be warm on top. So I'll pop this on now and show you as well. Okay, this is it on. Really, really chic. So I just added a belt. Um, this one kind of has like a slight boxy feel. I'll show you it without the belt now in a minute, but I think it's really nice with the belt as well. Like it's that real straight down fit. Um, gorgeous and it's just really simple it just has a little ck here completely plain at the back it has three buttons that you can't see them now because i have the belt but this is just such a classic love it and then this is it open so as you can see the shoulders are kind of boxy i think they have i think they have small little shoulder pads in them do they no, not really. I think it's just like the fit of it goes more across. And then it has the three buttons. You could obviously do them open or close. Sorry, it's a little bit white to light up here. Hopefully you can see. Um, but a really, really nice coat. Love this one. And then we're going to switch gears slightly. But I think this is the one I'm most excited about in this whole order. So I am switching gears. But I got this North Face puffer like bomber style jacket and let me just say first of all the North Face are having a moment like I've seen Kendall Jenner wearing it, Bella Hadid, I've seen it all over Instagram it's like all of a sudden it's just kind of like come back obviously it's been around for like ever and it's one of these brands that's just really trusted and they just make very good quality stuff but I've seen a lot of really cool people wear it recently so we went up to the outlet in Woodbury Commons actually just before we left New York and they have an outlet there and um, I was kind of looking for some jackets in there but I didn't really find any that I loved and that kind of fit me properly or whatever so when I was on Firefight recently I didn't know it but they do North Face as well I think they had maybe like 10 or 12 different pieces from the North Face and this was one of them and I just absolutely Loved it. My mom already <laughs> wants to steal this. It's so her as well because obviously being home in Kerry, like I have a few dressy bits to wear if we go out for dinner and stuff. But to be honest, guys, like I'll be living in like cozy, casual clothes and we're planning on going for so many walks over Christmas, like just getting out in the fresh air, obviously staying away from people as much as we can, keeping safe. So it's this kind of stuff I'm going to be wearing. So I found this. So it has the North Face at the back. And then it also has it here at the front. It's a zip, um, it's a zip up here, and then it also has Velcro to pull it across, so it kind of hides the zip. It also has a hood, which I love. So I really, really love this. Like, 
I am so, so happy to get this. And I got the size extra small and I'll show you now how that looks on. The sizing can be a tiny bit um, strange. So just for reference, I'll obviously try this on and you can see what the extra small is like on me. And yeah, I love this. If you're looking to get any North Face stuff, Firefetch have them and my code will work on them as well. This is so comfortable. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. I just never thought I would be this into puffers, but 2020 <laughs> has changed the things I love buying. It's just such a good fit. Like it fits so nicely. It's so warm, um, has the hood. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it has the hood normally mountain of hair um it has two pockets here with zips so you can put your phone in there and stuff like while you're walking and they're actually I think they're fur lined yeah they're really like soft material on the inside so if you wanted to put your hands in it would keep it warm just a really nice one if you're on the search for like these kind of coats now for walking or just being around the place this is great. Okay, and the next two things I'm actually going to probably try on, I'll show you them together and I'll try them on together because I kind of bought it as an outfit, but they're both two pieces that I'll be able to style like separately and differently as well. So the first is this, it's called the Colorado String Body from Wolford. So one of my kind of online friends in New York, uh, her Instagram is Brooklyn Blonde, her name's Helena. She, I just love her style. She buys like really good quality stuff and I just really trust her recommendations about things. And for years, she has talked about these bodysuits. So it's obviously like a roll neck, kind of like a thin material, but it's a bodysuit. So it will sit really nice when you wear it with jeans or under coats and stuff. So I saw that they're on Firefetch. I didn't know that either. I'm telling you, the good thing about Firefetch is they have such a good selection of brands. So I figured I would test it out because I I kind of had a clear out recently and I went through the roll necks that I had and the knits and stuff and I really want to just whittle it down to like one good one of each color so like one good black one one good camel one maybe one good gray one and then once you have the good basics then it's like you can create so many outfits around it so I figured I would invest into a good black one yeah so straight off the bat quality feels really nice very soft um it just comes with this little little guide um feels really nice it's quite a thin material so it definitely would fit really nice i can tell that already the roll neck's not too big as well i hate when they're too big and they're like bunching up so i'd say just like one roll down or you could kind of just scrunch it down like this and wear it and then it's obviously the bodysuit as well and what size did i get this in let me just double check i got the extra small in this so yeah i'll try this on now with the other thing i'm about to show you and we'll see how it fits so then i got it to wear obviously with loads of different outfits but i thought it would be really cool inside this beauty this belted khaki green blazer from a brand called Frankie Shop. They're actually, I think they're a New York brand, but I've been wanting to try out their stuff for so long. Loads of people I know and follow in New York wear like their blazers and they have really cool like leather pieces, like vegan leather, things like that. So I saw this while I was, you know, spending my usual <laughs> spare time on Firefetch. I just thought it'd be a really nice Christmas outfit, this with the pull neck inside and like leather pants or black skinny jeans and like high boots it's like one of those just simple outfits but very chic very understated and i just love green especially with my hair it's a color that really kind of like makes my hair pop so yeah i really like the look of this as well so i'll try this on i got the size xs dash s i think it was yeah xs dash s and then the next one is like medium large. I think it just comes in two sizes. So I'll show you what the smaller one is like on now. Okay, Joey has set up shop <laughs> during the try on, but this is the green Frankie Shop belted blazer. Um, I really do like it, but I'm just slightly thinking it might be too big. And this is the smallest size that they do. I think it is supposed to be like an oversized kind of vibe which I love like I'm all for the oversized look I just don't know if this exact fit suits my shape I just think 
I don't know, you really have to like understand what actually works with you and what doesn't. Um, I don't know, let me try and tie it again and show you. Okay, and then this is the Wolford Polo Neck. Wow, I think this could actually be one of my favorite things in the whole haul. Like, the fit, it just, like it goes with your body. I feel like whatever shape you are, like this just kind of fits perfectly however they make it like the material is amazing and then i just kind of have the roll neck like kind of scrunched down it's obviously the bodysuit so it sits really really nicely um into your jeans or whatever you're wearing it with and this is like a tiny bit pricey for a plain black pole neck but it's the kind of thing that if you buy it once you will have this and you won't have to buy other ones like so it just makes more sense in the long term so nice. I really wish I had got these now earlier. Such a good recommendation by my friend Helena. All right, and then last but not least, my name is Erica and I am addicted <laughs> to buying crew necks like this. Guys, I live in these kind of jumpers lately. I just feel like 2020 has made me, like obviously you've seen some really nice, more dressy bits, but I just think it's made me want to be so much more comfortable but I always say this but I want to be comfortable but still look put together so I've really started to kind of um get some things from my wardrobe that are cozy and comfy but good quality so that I still feel good in them and I just think when it comes to crew necks like you could be buying them you could be buying them the whole time and like you could have one and it'll last you for a couple of months and it'll get wrecked so I really wanted to get a good black one that I'd have. So I saw Balmain had one and they did have one with like white writing as well so it's more kind of like not as subtle Balmain but I liked the black because you can obviously see it but it's not in your face and too logo-y. I'm starting to kind of just like really subtle logos if there is a logo on something and quality feels amazing. I haven't tried this on yet. I hope it fits. I kind of learned my lesson from the other crew neck I bought so I got this more like true to size because I didn't want it to be too big so I got it the extra small if you can see yeah so I got the extra small so you'll see how that looks on now and it's just lovely like this just with plain jeans black jeans like you can just throw it on and you still feel like you have something good on and like good quality even though it's like super plain and super simple but that's definitely i mean i'm very that's very much me anyway you know that i love plain classic things but i think even more this year has kind of made me want to like just cut down my wardrobe and get rid of like all the fluff and all the things that maybe don't fit me perfect or they aren't tailored nice like i do think that when you spend a little bit extra on some on things sometimes you're a getting better quality and it's going to last for years and years and quite often you're getting a better fit and a better like tailored look like things just fit better i'm kind of gone obsessed with fit when i buy things now i just really want the fit to be to be good um so yeah this is the latest crew neck and kind of my good black one now that I'll have so I'll try this on for you. Okay and then this is the Balmain crew neck. Really really nice on. Um, sorry I'll probably have to show you this in the daytime as well just to kind of show it to you better but I just have it on with the same black jeans. Really nice fit, very soft. This is like the extra small so as you can see like I really didn't need to go any bigger with this one so stay kind of true to size with this one is what I'd recommend. A really good kind of basic classic piece to have. So that's my little Christmas shop. I always do buy a few things at the end of the year. I just think when it comes to the end of the year, you kind of know what you've been missing in your wardrobe. And especially now for like the winter season, it's my one of my favorite seasons to dress for. Like I love coats and jumpers and just cozy stuff. So I like to just get a few bits for Christmas that I can wear like new and then have as well going into the new year so i really hope you liked seeing all that you know i love firefish <laughs> i could spend hours and hours like literally i'm on the website if i have a spare if i spare time in a car or if i'm going somewhere like i just love it and i love seeing their new things and they're always bringing on new designers and you just find some very 
like interesting designers on there as well it's not just all the typical ones like like for the faux fur the kind of cream faux fur like i never would have found that brand only for seeing it on farfetch so definitely go on and have a look um i'll put my code here again it gets you 10 percent off which is definitely a great saving on a site like farfetch and if you have any questions about any of the stuff i've shown you or maybe other stuff i've shown you throughout the year from farfetch maybe you're like kind of been waiting to Chris till christmas to treat yourself if you have any questions about sizing or comfort or fit or whatever just let me know and you can use the code so yeah any questions just let me know and i'll be sure to help and give any advice and all the details down below about when the code finishes and everything and like what like products it works on and some that it doesn't and stuff there are some few exclusions and that's it so i'm gonna tidy up that now and i have to do a little bit of editing for today's video that's going live and then me and kellen are gonna have another cozy night in i think our parents are going out for dinner just kind of in our local village but me and kellen are gonna stay home watch a movie get cozy and yeah i'll vlog the whole night as usual good night joey good night you haven't been in the vlog much today Good night, are you going to bed? No, oh, you're going to bed. Me and Kellen are wearing our second matching pajamas tonight. Pink version this time. We gotta Where get Joy a pajamas. Oh, he has the pink slipper. The pink slipper. That's his favourite. That? Is that mom's? I have no idea where he got that. <laughs> Good night, Jojo. See you tomorrow. Kellen's also vlogging today. Lots of vlogging going on. <laughs> You're just vlogging everything. I feel like yours is totally different to mine though. Yeah, I didn't even get much footage. I'm like, do more tomorrow. Yeah. You think you'll get loads, but the day went so fast. Yeah, flu. David's taking Joey for the next what? One night or two nights? Two nights. Is it or one? Yeah. So sad. So I'll miss him. Co-parenting. I'm so used to him now, Joey. I know. I'll miss him too, but at least we have Ogie. Yeah. Although Joy and Vogue not getting on the best. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah they are. Joy's just trying to play no with conflict. her. conflict. I just think they're very different dogs. Like they're very different ages. Yeah, Joy wants to play and she has zero interest in playing. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like hard for him because he can't understand and she's just like, leave me alone. You know, I feel bad for both of them really because yeah. they both want. David has things. a dog as well in his home. Max. And he gets on better with him because he wants to play. Yeah. Yeah. What age is Max? Yeah, probably like four. Yeah, he's younger like than Vogue. Yeah. Poor Joey just wants to play. Oh, I think they'll become friends eventually. I mean, they're, they're grand with each other. They just need to come to an understanding. Yeah. Joey needs to understand Vogue doesn't want to play. and Yeah. Vogue just needs to get used to Joey. Slowly but surely. <laughs> back in pajamas again um me and Kellen just chilled for the night i actually was hoping we would watch a movie but i ended up editing and doing work and stuff i just i'm still kind of all over the place even though it's like saturday night probably shouldn't be like doing work but i'm just trying to get ahead i feel like the last week has been like no routine so there's just still things to do um but we just like sat on the couch and chilled for the evening and kind of had like tv on <laughs> in the background but i'm actually going to go to bed now i'm getting up early in the morning because i have to go into Tralee to do like i have to go into the driving license kind of office i have to renew my license so i got my eye test done on friday and then i have to go in there tomorrow morning at 10 so i'm going to try and get to sleep um i know that's not even that early but it takes us about 50 minutes or so to get to Tralee so i'd have to leave around nine i want to get up and have a shower and all that before so i'm gonna leave it here Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow. I was thinking that I might take one day where I don't vlog, but I probably will vlog again. It's kind of addictive. Like when I'm not vlogging, I'm, I feel I just feel like it's not right. Like I'm missing something. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we get up to. I want to go for another walk and stuff. The weather was nice today, but when we went down to Ross Bay, it actually wasn't that sunny, even though it was really sunny up where we live. So I really want to go down there when it's sunny, hopefully soon, and then just kind of chill out as well tomorrow and just kind of get on top of a few more work things. So I'll leave this one here. Hope you're enjoying. Don't forget the Farfetch discount code if you want to get anything. I'll put it here in the screen again. Definitely make use of it, as I said. 
any kind of a discount is such a help on Farfetch. So yeah, let me know what you get if you get anything. I love seeing what people find on there. And of course, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying Vlogmas. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video, which will be Vlogmas Day 7, Episode 7. Talk to you soon. Bye.